Amy Roblox. Hey guys, is anyone online? Uh, well. What's going on? It's like to a N. <gasps> Michelle? Hey, Lisa. Hi. Uh, is that really you? Yeah. Where have you been? We haven't seen you in so long. Oh my god. What's happening? What's going it's on? It's so late. Guys, something weird just happened. Michelle was online and messaging me, then she left before you joined. Michelle, Lisa, I think you need to go back to sleep. Yeah, it couldn't be her. She left us like two years ago. Remember, when that bacon girl joined us who was called Michelle, and we thought it was her. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm tired. See you tomorrow, guys. CIA. That was definitely Michelle. I'm so confused. Lisa, I'm back. I don't have a lot of time to explain. Okay. I'm sorry for leaving the GC without explanation. I was forced by my friend. She hacked my account when I refused to leave you guys. Why haven't you created a new account and joined us? Every time I made a new account to try and talk to you, she find out about it. I don't know how. Wait then how are you talking to me right now? Ink. She hasn't stopped me yet so. That's why I'm trying to explain quick. I don't know what to say. Is this some kind of prank or something? No. Can you please just tell the others? I'm sorry and I didn't just abandon you guys. Well, what just happened? No, no. This can't be real. It's probably one of my friends on an alt account trying to trick me. I'm just gonna go sleep. The next day, I'm so tired. I couldn't get back to sleep after Lisa's notifications woke me up. Same. Okay, which one of you was it? Hey Lisa, um, what are you talking about? I know one of you guys were, pretending to be Michelle. What? Are you still talking about this? Michelle is gone Lisa, she's not coming back. And no one's pretending to be her? I'm sorry. Okay, it was fun at first but now you're just dragging it out. Michelle was my BSV so can you please just admit it was you guys on her app? On her account? Lisa it wasn't us dot dot. I think maybe it was. Hey guys. Oh Jeez. my god. It's so good to see you guys. I wish I could stay but I don't have a lot of time to say this. Hopefully Lisa hasn't already told you. I haven't told them cuz I know it's not actually you. This isn't even funny anymore you guys know how much I miss her. I can't believe I actually thought she came back for a second. Wait so you weren't lying. Michelle is that really you? You're so funny. What is going on? Lisa thinks we're controlling Yorick to prank her or something. Wait, so what's going on with you, Michelle? Are you back now? Where have you been? Why did you leave us in the first place? I won't be able to explain. She's going to find out I'm here. You'll have to ask Lisa. I told her yesterday. Who's going to find out you're here? I'm sorry, guys, but I don't think I have time to explain. Lisa knows everything. Bro, I'm so confused. Michelle, what did I tell you? I trusted you enough to give your account back, and then you go and do this. Lara, I'm sorry. I just wanted to explain to them. I don't care. I obviously can't trust you, so I'm taking your back. Wait, Lara. Why can't we all just be friends? You guys wouldn't mind, right? I honestly have no idea what's happening. You just showed up out of nowhere after, like two years acting weird. I told Michelle to leave you guys, but she didn't. So I made sure she'd never be able to speak to you again. Um, who is this? Did you guys add someone? Wait, so what? You locked Michelle out of her account? That's why she left us so suddenly. Well, if it means Michelle can come back, sure you can be in our group. No, Michelle will spend less time with me if you guys are here. Well, think about it. Michelle is just gonna keep finding ways to talk to us, so you might as well join us. Well... I guess so. But if you guys try and stop her from talking to me... We won't. Okay, I have to go. Buy new friends. Bye. So it wasn't actually you guys pretending to be Michelle. I'm sorry for accusing you. Don't worry, but what are we gonna do? We can't actually have that hacker in our group, can we? I know, right? What can we do about it? Guys, I have an idea. Why don't we just email Roblox? With all the proof of her hacking you and stuff, then they can ban her. I tried that before and they didn't do anything about it. Yeah, and what if she makes a new account and comes back? Well, it can't hurt to try, guys. I think you're right. I've got the most proof, so I'll do it.
Michelle contacts Roblox with the proof. The next day, guys, I just checked, and when you search Lara's user, she doesn't show up. I think she's banned. Wow, really? So it worked. Don't be too excited yet, guys. We still have to wait and see if she makes a new account. Yeah, let's wait and see if she comes back. I'm scared she's probably gonna be really mad at us if she does. Don't say that. A week later. Good morning, guys. It's been a week now. Has anyone been contacted by Lara? I don't think so. Looks like the plan actually worked. Yeah. If I knew it was that easy, I would have done this a long time ago. I'm sorry, guys. Don't be sorry, Michelle. We're just happy you're back. We missed you so much. Hey guys. What? what the? Did you guys think I'm so stupid that you can just pan me? What are you talking about? I know everything and now I will take revenge. You'll be first, Michelle. No, please. I just wanted. Now your turn, guys. Ahaha. You can't just hack us because you don't know our lock. And pass. Are you sure? What the? How did you do that? It's easy. Stop it please and leave us alone. We don't want you here. You're so horrible person. Yeah, she's right. Get out of here, Lara. Okay, but first I'm gonna finish what I started. New. No. Ah. Okay, now I'm leaving. Bye, ugly rats. F-K-U-B-H. Lara has left the GC. Lara blocked everyone. Ahaha, uh -huh, she blocked us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. It was my fault. It's okay, don't worry. Now we became a close bacons group like when we first started Roblox. Right, guys? Um, yep. yeah. Guys, I'll burb. Don't say she left us again. I don't think so. Ten minutes later. Okay, where is she? Um. Hey, guys. I'm back. I got 200,000 Robux and I'll give you some. Thank, Thank you. you. NP, now let's go change. After they're changed. Your looks cool, Michelle. Thanks, yours too. <laughs> Lara ended up quitting Roblox because she had no friends left. Michelle, Derek, Lisa, and Kelly lived happily and stayed a good friends. The end. This fit looks amazing for my birthday. Let's join the GC. Oh, hey, Jenna. Hey. Um, where's Zach? And who's this person? He's playing with Amanda, the new girl in our group. Oh, did he forget that it's mine? Hey, babe. Hi. Is this your girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, hi. I'm Chloe. You must be Amanda, right? Uh, yeah. Anyway, Zach, my love, do you want to play something? Sure. But babe, today is my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Chloe. You forgot it too, right? Don't worry about it. Oh. I guess I'll play something by myself then. Join's breaking point. Half an hour later. Hey, you're really good at the game. Aren't you the one that offended me? I understood everything. Oops. Guess I got caught. Haha, <laughs> yeah. In for thousand. Wanna be friends? You seem cool. Sure. Great. Can I add you to my GC? Wait. You have a GC and still playing alone. It must be horrible. You wanna be added or not? Okay, chill. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. I was serious. Hey, guys. Ugh, you again. I'm gonna add someone. Yo. Babe, what the? How dare you add a boy into this GC? What? You literally prefer to play with a random girl than with your girlfriend on her birthday? Birthday? Oh, now you're being overdramatic. Okay, um, I think I'm not wanted here. Definitely not. No need to be mad at me. It's your own fault. Anyways, what's your name, cutie? Amanda, we're together, did you forget? Why are you flirting with him? Wow, really? Zach, I can't believe I fell in love with you. Oh, I was just jock. You really think I'm that stupid? We're over. I can't believe it. I'm so stupid. Hey, I never got your name. It's Chloe. My name's Adam. I wish you a happy birthday, Chloe. Haha, <laughs> well, I don't know if it's a happy birthday, but thanks. Appreciate it. No need to thank me. I feel so stupid. You don't have to. He didn't deserve you anyway. Don't say that. Come on, we both know it's true. People who cheat, forget their GF's birthday. And don't trust their GF aren't worth it. You deserve better. Uh, thanks. Isn't it weird? Huh. 
Your best friends turn into strangers, while strangers turn into your best friends. Everyone leaves someday. Some might go sooner, some later. And just a few might stay till death tears you apart. You shouldn't cry for people who don't care about you. Got it. Have you just turned into my personal therapist or? Ha ha well, I just know the situations as well. Hey uh, Adam, wanna look at my drawings in free draw? Please, it took really long. Of course show them. One year later. Hey, Adam. Hey. You're finally back from vacation as I see. How was it? Great. Everything was perfect. That's good. What about you? How do you feel? I'm okay more or less. It was just boring without you. Well here I am. I see, haha. <laughs> By the way, I totally forgot the best part. So. What? Spit it out. Uh, I got a girlfriend. You what? Girlfriend? Why do I feel Chloe. weird about this? No, what am Chloe, I doing? Chloe, are you there? I should be happy for him, I mean, we're best friends. Chloe, answer me. Oh, sorry. Haha. <laughs> you and GF, I thought you could never pull. Shut up, I'm being serious. Uh, sorry. I'm happy for you. Thanks. Can I add her? It's all right if not. Uh, of course you can. Hey, Chloe, right? My name's Lily. It's nice to finally meet you. Adam told me a lot about you. Hi, yeah, I hope he didn't say anything bad. No, no, just good things. Well, I'm glad. Guys want to play something. I actually have to do something, but maybe I'll join later. Okay. Fine, see you. Hum. What's wrong? She's just acting weird. Anyways, let's play. Hum, all right. Why do I feel like this? Ugh, I can't be in love with him. That's not right. I feel so jealous, but this girl seems nice. I'm a bad friend. It's all happening again. I feel so stupid again. And this time there's no one to comfort me than him. Is it because of that? He's the one who comforts me. I feel in love because I finally felt loved. Horrible. It all repeats. I have no one. Ugh, I hate myself. One month later. It's been a while since I was last online. Huh? 99 plus messages from Adam. Hi, Adam. I'm sorry I didn't respond. I know you're not online right now, but... Chloe. Oh, hi, Adam. Where have you been? I missed you. What happened? Do you feel bad? Should I come over? No. Don't worry I just needed time. I understand. You can talk to me whenever you want. I would wake up at 3 a.m. to listen to your problems and solve them. Remember. That's the point, Adam. Huh. What do you mean? Uh, never mind. Where's um? What's her name again? Oh yeah, Lily. Why are you changing the topic? I'm worried. What is wrong with you, Chloe? I'm sorry. Adam, we have to talk. Sure, babe. What's wrong? I don't think this works out anymore. I've been thinking a lot about this, but I just... What? It doesn't feel like you love me, Adam. What are you talking about? Of course I love you. Yeah, maybe as a friend, but I don't think you know your own feelings. When we played with Chloe this one time, I noticed something. You and Chloe, you... No, you completely misunderstand it. Chloe and I are just really good friends. Don't interrupt me. I can see when people love each other. You guys harmonize so well. You know, I always wanted to see your eyes shine when you see me. Lily, please. That day, I did see them shine. I've finally seen the love in your eyes. But that love wasn't meant for me. It never was. Adam, she really loves you and you do too. Lily, I can't just. You can't just what? Leave me? I'm fine. Love isn't always about happiness. It's also heartbreaking. I'll get over it. Don't ruin your chances and your future with that beautiful girl you have on your side. Now go. Go. Where? I'm so sorry. To Chloe OFC. And don't be sorry you idiot. I'll find my man soon enough. Thanks Lily. I love you. Hey don't say that. Oh sorry. I love you too. I hope they'll be happy together. Adam, please. I don't wanna. Just listen please. Lily and I aren't together anymore. She opened my eyes and now I know what I really feel. Wait, what? Chloe, I love you. 
I always did. Since the day I met you, you caught my heart. Adam, you're joking, right? No, I would never joke about something like that. Oh, okay. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. I want to make you happy and see you smile. I never want to see you hurt again. I won't ever hurt you. Remember the day I met you. I told you some of your closest might. Stay till death tears you apart. And now I want to tell you that I'll stay with you. Till death tears us apart. I love you, Chloe. Wow, I, I love you too, Adam. Hey, you aren't crying. Are you? Haha, <laughs> no, just tearing up. Nobody has ever said something as beautiful to me like you did. But uh, what about Lily? Why were you together if you didn't love her? Blind, I was blind. I thought I could forget you and love someone else. And here I am saying I definitely couldn't and never want to try to forget you ever again. Chloe, do you want to be my girlfriend? Yes, is. Adam and Chloe became a really close couple, and they lived happily and never heard from the other again. The end. Tyler, 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 Tyler. Sadie, what do you want? I was trying to get my beauty sleep. FK your beauty sleep, I found a group chat. I told you I don't want to be in a group chat, Fess. I DC, I'll add you. Hey guys, I'm back with my friend. This is Tyler. And Tyler, this is Harry and Lisa. Hey. Hi, Tyler. Bro, Sadie, this is a F King 60 year old. Hi, chill, I was just trolling. Is this a trolling voice too? Tyler, what the HL? What? That wasn't cool, not gonna lie, apologize to him. Right, go. Apologize for what? I was serious. And we're serious too. Bro. Don't act up like a kid. Act like a kid? Funny. Nah, who did you add in here? I regret it. Hey dude. Look I'm sorry. Maybe wasn't that funny. Maybe? Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, it's alright. But it wasn't even that bad. What? Yeah, don't worry. Oh, hey Harry. Harry, you okay? Yeah. You sound like you want a K. L somebody lol. Lamau. I do. Huh? Ayo hey, bro, chill out. Not Tyler, what did you do again? Tyler shitting his pants. Shut up. Guys, let's just play Arsenal. Arsenal? Bet. Ha, Tyler, you're gonna D. E. Don't worry, I won't. Ask Sadie. To be honest, Tyler is pro, but Harry gonna beat you. What? Never. Okay, at C. An hour later. Ha ha ha. That was fun. How TF did you K? L me, I wasn't even near you. You're just a hacker. It was too F king easy for you. I can't believe I lost to that ugly rat. I, I, shti. That's not fair. Daddy's mad. What? What? Oh. Where did Lisa go? Probably running after her crush. Wait. Is Tyler her crush? Well, I don't know, but it's kinda obvious that she likes him. She didn't K. L him in Arsenal. Not even once. Didn't you notice? Oh yeah, haha. Nah, Harry, what's wrong? You like him, don't you? With Lisa and Tyler. Lisa, what's up? Why did you leave? I just had to go, that's all. I don't believe you, you sound upset. No, it's fine. You can tell me you know that. Yeah, thanks. I just didn't feel comfortable. Yeah, that was kinda too much from Harry. Wanna play something? Sure, I'll join you. Back to Sadie and Harry. I don't like him. Do Harry? I? Yeah, I do Harry, like him. are you there? Yes, I do like him. But please don't tell him. I really don't want to get hurt again. I'm just gonna forget him. No, you're not. Huh? Please. I don't wanna be rejected again. First, when you always act like this, you're never gonna find someone for yourself. Second, you don't even know how he feels. If he's gay or bisexual, you can't know that unless you ask him. But he obviously hates me and look. He's even playing with Lisa. Lisa likes him, I see that. Even if, it doesn't change the fact that it's Tyler who's gonna choose. Choose what exactly? Oh, uh, Nothing important. I didn't ask you. Wow, Tyler, what's wrong with you? Bro, this dude called me daddy? Like the FK. Chill. It was literally a simple joke. Anyways, why didn't y'all tell us you were playing? We could've played together. I wanted to play alone with him. Sorry. 
No need to apologize, it's all right, we don't have to play always as a group. Yeah, whatever. Can I talk to you in private for a sec, Lisa? Yeah, I guess. Are you okay? You're acting weird ever since y'all came back. Why do you care? It's not like you care about me, it's about Tyler. You like him, don't you? I would love to tell you that we're together. I'm happy for you, congrats. Don't act like you're happy for me. Look if you're trying to ruin anything, I will make you regret it. Huh? I would never. You know me, Lisa. Why? Do you think like hey this? Guys. Oh my god, just shut up. Don't play stupid. What the HL, Lisa? Oh, uh, hi. Would you explain what? You just said to Harry? I told him to shut up because I've seen you watching us. And I didn't want that he'd tell you. We're planning a surprise. Surprise? Really? Yeah. Surprise. Something's, Something's weird. weird. She also she told him to shut is. up. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry. Let's go back. Say one thing and you're done. Ugh. What took y'all so long? Never mind. Don't worry about it. Oh, I forgot to congratulate you. Me? For what? Uh, for you and Harry. You two are a couple now, he told me. What? Wow. Really? What the actual FK? That's not true. Who TF do you think you are? First calling me daddy and then saying we're together which isn't even true. But I said I didn't say that. Harry why are you lying? You told me you and Tyler are together. No, Harry wouldn't do that. So now you're picking him over me? Really saddy? Do you have a proof? Yes, I do. I didn't want it to come to this point since I thought y'all would trust me but... Guess not. Here? Sends fake screenshots. What? That's fake. Is this the surprise you were talking about? Yes. No, Sadie please trust me. I wouldn't do such a thing. She was the one who said they were together and- Stop it! I heard enough. You should leave Harry before you get kicked. What? But it's not fair. Oh my god really Harry? How could you still lie about this? Lisa. I'm shocked. I didn't know you could be such a snake. You didn't act like this before. Harry, is that true? No, Sadie you have to believe me. You know me. And you know me to Sadie. We've known each other since primary school. I'll kick you out right now. Tyler, you aren't kicking him. Why? What? But... No, I known them much longer than you do. I will choose. But Sadie, Lisa showed us proof. Why are you still thinking? Now listen to me you brat. I'm not gonna choose anyone over another. I've known you both for so long. Plus I'm sure we can fix this. So there's no need to kick anyone. I can't believe it. I won't stay here when Harry's gonna be here. Dot dot Lisa why? Why are you doing this? We were so good. Why are you trying to get me kicked out? I've done nothing but be nice and caring for you. So why? What's wrong with you? I uh, I don't know what you're talking about Harry. How are you explaining these screenshots then? Lisa couldn't have edited it so fast. TBH, I don't know how she did that. And I get it that you guys thinking it's real because it looks real but why would I still lie? It makes no sense. Lisa, can I talk to you in private please? Yeah. I know you don't like me that much and it's not the right timing. What? Get to the point. Please, just let me state my side of the story. Fine. Explains everything. But why would Lisa do something like that? I know her longer than you and trust me it hurts. Because she was never like this before. She likes you that's obvious. I kinda have that feeling too but, god ugh I don't know. Don't think because I heard your story that I'm gonna believe it. No, I didn't even expect that. Why are you mean by that? Hey! Where's Lisa? She's getting someone into the group. That's not the right timing for that. Trust me, it is. Hey! Who is this? Harry, what are you doing here? Wait, you two know each other? Now I don't know who she is. What? Harry, you know me. And who are you to him? I'm his ex. What's going on? Lisa, is this one of your ways to get me kicked out again? You are accusing me again? Wow, Harry, what's wrong with you? Okay, calm down, guys. What happened with Lisa and Sadie? What is it? Lisa, you know I would never want to hurt you. Are you sure that Harry said that to you? Sadie, I'm telling you he's lying. Why you not believe me? I really thought you trust me. I trust you. TBH, I don't like Harry anymore. 
He's acting weird and it's getting on my nerves. For real, that's what I thought. Plus he's acting so gay around Tyler. You and Tyler would be a better couple. Really? Finally someone that agrees with me. Sadie I have to tell you something but promise me to not be mad and stay by my side. Sure. Okay well. I lied. Harry didn't say these things. My friend edited these screenshots. But that's my plan. I want to kick Harry out and I have an idea. So you're his ex? That's right. Excuse me, I don't know you. Harry when are you gonna stop lying? Harry is a bad person. He cheated on me and threatened me. Wow Harry I can't believe it. Sad to you too, I didn't expect that. I've done nothing to you Lisa. Nothing. You're treating me like sh tea. This girl you added props doesn't even know anything about. How bad of a person you are. Or else they wouldn't hurt, a random person. Ugh I can't do this anymore. What do you mean? Lisa is lying. She told me everything while we were in priv chat. Sadie, what are you doing? I tricked her so she would trust me and here's your proof. Show screenshots. That's... Lisa, are you serious? You told me you wanted me to help you because Harry was mean to you? You're the worst person I've ever met. I'm sorry, Harry. Lisa, why? Tyler, I swear it's not. Quit lying. I really like you, Lisa, so tell us why. Oh my god, really? It's because I like you, Tyler. I didn't want Harry to ruin it. So we can be a couple now, right? What? No, I don't even like you. It was just a joke. Say bye. Huh. Lisa has been kicked. Finally. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I'm sorry, Harry. Brew, what do you mean you can't believe it? Stop acting so sassy. Sassy? Nah. You can't be the one telling me I'm sassy. You're the one who didn't believe Harry to so stop denying this now you can change the fact. Now listen you dips to you freaking moron. I won't let you be bossy to me like you are to everyone else you didn't trust Harry to. You believed a random girl and even played with her alone so seems like you actually feel for her lamau cry about it you am fake hey? Okay okay calm down. Let's just forget about it. Alright whatever you say. Fine. Two months later. I have a confession to make. Ooh, yes, is. It's finally happening. Shut up, Sadie. Harry. Yes. I like you. What? I like you. Tyler, I can't understand it when you talk so fast. I like you, Harry. Oh, I'm sorry, Tyler, but I already like someone else. You know, back then when Lisa was still here, I actually liked you, but I've lost feelings. I'm sorry. Uh, don't apologize, it's alright. In the end, it was my fault. Stop already with this cringe tea. Let's play, Abby. Ha ha, let's go. They stayed a good friends and lived happily. Harry became a couple with Kira, the end. You're so bad at Abby, Zane. My jump button isn't working. It works perfectly fine in any other game. Just admit you're bad player. Ha ha ha. Well, guys, it's late. I think I'm gonna go offline. Bye. Yeah, me too. Same bye. Bye, guys. Actually, I think I'm gonna go offline too. Hey. Oh, um. Hi. I'm Sarah. Wanna be friends? Oh, I'm Caleb. Sure, we can be friends. But I was just about to go offline, so. It's okay. We can talk tomorrow. I'll add you. Okay, bye. The next day. Help. You literally fell on the easiest bit. That jump is literally not possible. Not possible, me and Jenna did it. Hey guys. Finally you're here Caleb. Can you tell Zane to just admit he can't do obbies? Caleb? Caleb? Bro are you there? Sorry I'll be our B guys. Caleb answer me. Sarah what's going on? Is something wrong? Yes, you were online and weren't answering me. Oh, I thought something serious happened. I was talking to my friend Sarah I literally just got online. So I'm not one of your friends now? What? Why didn't you contact me first? Am I less important to you? Do you hate me or something? Please tell me you're just kidding. Why would I be kidding? Well, I'm just gonna leave. Wait. What now? Add me please. I wanna meet your friends. I'm not gonna add you. Sorry, Sarah. I knew it. You hate me. Dude, I barely even know you. I'm not gonna. Just add you to my group shit. I'm sorry. Save your excuses. I thought I finally met a person who I could be BSV with, but I guess not. Wow. Fine, I'll add you. 
Okay, I think it's working. I'll use him to get closer to Jenna. She's gonna regret what she did to me. Five minutes later. Can he just hurry up and add me? So this is Sarah, guys. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Kayla. I'm Zane. And I'm... There you are, Jenna. Uh, do I know you? Oh, um, no. I just saw you had Jenna in your user, so I assumed it was your name. Oh, haha. -ha. Yeah, nice to meet you. Wait, guys. Be right back. I think my cat just pushed my plant off the shelf. What? This is perfect. Okay, um, guys, there's something I need to tell you about Jenna. I actually do know her. We used to be friends. Wait, what? Well, that was until one day I introduced her to my BF and she suddenly got all jealous of me. She'd call me names and be really rude to me in front of him to like impress or something. And eventually he left me for her and I never heard from either of them again. I wasted like five years of my life being friends with her just for her to do that. So yeah, she's not who you think she is. And IG she already forgot about me, cause she didn't even recognize me. Hey, I'm back. What are you guys talking about? Mmm, you. Huh? I told them everything Jenna, now they know, what a terrible person you are, hope you are okay with having no friends cause I'm also, posting this online. What the HL? Who even are you? What did I do? Oh my god, you really don't remember what you did. It's me, Sarah. Your old BSV. Wait, oh, you're that Sarah? Are you serious? That happened like five years ago. And I literally reached out to you a few years ago too. Apologize and you just blocked me. I understand if you don't forgive me but I was young. I've changed now. I DC if you've changed, you don't understand what I felt. I know, I don't. Again, I'm really sorry, but what do you want me to do? It's not like I can go back in time and change things. Whoa, uh, you're just as rude as you were five years ago. You haven't changed at all. Excuse me, how am I rude? What are you even talking about? Uh, do you want us to leave so you guys can talk? No, no, I'm leaving. I just wanted to join and tell you guys to leave her. She'll probably end up doing something like this to one of you. Well, we've been friends with Jenna for years, and she's the nicest person I've ever met. She never told us about any of this, but I do believe she's changed. Gosh, I don't even care. I tried to warn you, but clearly you don't want to listen. Bye. Wait, Sarah. What? I regret what I did to you, but I couldn't even imagine doing anything like that now. I'm really sorry if you thought I was being rude earlier I was just upset you tried to ruin my relationship with my friends over something that happened a long time ago. Well um, yeah okay. I guess I should've. Maybe just left it and accepted you, apologized before years ago. I really wish our friendship didn't go to waste like that though. Guys, your friendship doesn't have to go to waste. You can try to be friends again now. Ick, maybe. Are you sure she's nice now? She's my bestie Sarah. I promise. If she wasn't nice none of us would be here right now. Oh, okay. Do you wanna try and be friends again Jenna? Yeah, sure. I promise it'll be better this time. I did not expect this to end happy. Same haha but I'm glad it did. I'm so happy for you guys. Sarah ended up forgiving Jenna and they became close again. They all stayed good friends. The end. Hey guys. It's already 10 a.m. and they still aren't online. Guys, 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 it's 10 a.m. How are you to not online? What were you guys doing? I was sleeping like a normal human in the morning, not being an annoying alarm waking people up. Uh, okay. What about you, Matthew? Well, I, I was, um, doing what Lori was doing. Bro, no TF, you weren't. We all know you be up till like 6 a.m. going through girls' pics on Pinterest. Whoa, so you stalk me trough my window? You didn't deny it. Okay, okay, guys, chill, you don't need to flirt to prove your point. Huh? We weren't flirting. Oh, looks like someone's mad. I'm not mad. You know you want me, babe. Matthew, shut up. Swear you talk the freaking most out of this whole group. Clearly you want me since you're the one flirting with me. Yeah, you're right. And, I'm not denying it. It's just you, babe. Ugh. Anyway, guys I have a friend. I wanna add to the group. Is it a boy or girl? 
It's a girl. Finally, OMG. Now I'm not the only girl. Add her right now. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, guys. Hey, Jill. Hey, hey I like your avatar. Ah, uh, ties him. Jill, these are my friends, Matthew and Lori. It's nice to meet you guys. You too. Especially you, Matthew. Huh? Oh, uh, are you talking to me? Well, there's no other Matthews. And this GC now is there. No. Haha, <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. Oh my god, why the HL is she flirting with Matthew? Wait, why do I even care? So Jill, how long have you known Mason? We've known each other. For about two months. Oh, only two? Yep, is there a problem? IG not. I've just known him longer since. We were kids. He only met you online. Well, he's allowed to have online friends. And it's none of your business. Well, actually, it is my business. Since Mason is my friend. Okay guys calm down, you are both my friends and that's final, can you guys just be nice please? Yeah guys just quit arguing don't waste your breath for stupid shit to talk about. Oh of course, anything for you my baby boy. Dude what? What the did you just say to him? Oh, are you upset that, he likes me better. He never said that, honestly it's just you. Mason why did you add her? I didn't know, she was gonna act like a pick me. Excuse me? You heard me. Can you check your DMs? Real quick, Lori? Uh, sure. IG. Well, what do you want? Stay right here, I'll burb. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm back. Wait, why did you turn into a bacon? You'll see. Let's get back to the group. I'm okay. Finally, you're back. Wait, who is this bacon? Oh, Jill changed into a bacon for some reason. <laughs> What happened, Jill? Lori, she hacked me and took all my Robux and stuff. I just went to apologize to her and she denied. She was so mad that she hacked me. Wait, what? Lori, how could you? What? How do you believe her? You weren't there to witness. And I thought you were my friend. Mason, how could you blame Lori? We've known her for years she would never do that. Jill has to be lying. Well, why would she be lying? She turned into a bacon out of nowhere. You two were talking and after she was a bacon, who else would have done it? Well, you should know with your peanut brain that she clearly hates my guts and framed me for something I didn't do. Why would I take her Robux and stuff anyway I have a lot of my own? Besides, as Matthew said I would never do it in the first place. I'm not that kind of person and I've never done anything like that. Oh, ha ha, are we supposed to feel bad for you after what you just did? Do your ears not function? I just explained everything to them. You know I didn't do it. And you, Mason? You're being so stupid. I can't believe you don't believe me. Well, maybe you should talk to Matthew over her. He also takes Robux. Huh? What are you talking about, Mason? You know, I don't hack people for Robux. Oh, yeah? Shows fake screenshots of Matthew hacking people. What? That's not me. Yes, of course. Don't pretend it wasn't you. What is wrong with you guys? Mason, you know that Matthew would never do that. And how would you know? You're not around him 20 for you. Bru, what are you talking about? He's your best friend. We've known him for years. He would never do that. Thank you, my sweet minion. This is why I call you mine. What, what the, the actual did you just call me? Oh, haha. Ha. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Continue. Okay. I have to find out what's going on. Matthew. Can we talk in private for a sec? Oh, I'm sure, mommy. Bro, you're so goofy. Ugh, they're still together. You said this would work, Jill. Well, excuse me. It's not my fault Matthew is simping for her. I get you want your girl and I want my man. I'll have to think of something else. Oh my god, what? We need to go back. Yeah. Are you serious right now, Mason? Huh? Don't even try. I heard everything. What plan is Jill talking about? Uh, fine, I'll tell you. I was so upset that you and Matthew are always flirting and talking to each other. I felt upset with anger so I called my cousin Jill to try and get you away from him. She likes Matthew as well so she wanted Matthew for herself which was perfect so I could have you Lori. But now you had to hear us. You ruined our plan. I don't care about your stupid plans. Mason, how could you? I trusted you and you were my friend. Now I just can't. You screwed up. I don't like you, I'm sorry. Ugh, I hate this, I hate all of you. 
Wait, you forgot my Robux. Well, at least they're gone. I can't believe Mason would do that. It's okay, Lori. Just know I like you, and that's all that matters. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I, I like you too a lot. I just couldn't show it. You're literally too good for me. Lori, you could never be too good to me. You're enough for me, that's all that matters. You're perfect for me. And look on the bright side, I was right, I knew you wanted me. Ha ha ha, yeah you're right. I love you. I love you too. Lori and Matthew became a couple and lived happily, the end. Lillian, we had a great game. I really enjoyed it. How about you? Me too. It was great. I was thinking, maybe I'll ask my brother to donate to me. I need to change my avatar. This one I'm sick of, and my mom doesn't want to donate to me. She says she don't have money for my games. Where will your brother get money to you? He found a job. He earns good money. Cool. You're lucky, but I have no one to donate. It's hard for my mom, but I don't ask. It's okay, Lillian. You'll find a guy. He'll give you money. Ava has found a boyfriend. Have you seen how cool she is? What's her avatar? Yeah, I know. I've seen it. When he will be this guy, he has to be found. It's not that easy. By the way, where is she? I haven't seen her for a long time. Lillian, have you seen Ava? I haven't seen her for a long time either, but I often see a strange person. I don't know who she is. I tried to talk to her, she doesn't talk, she's silent. That's strange, so she doesn't want to. But where is Ava? I miss her. She's a cool girl, we had a good time, and it's fun to play with her. Maybe she's out with her boyfriend, they probably don't have time for Roblox. Stella, look at that avatar I was telling you about. Look Lily, I've seen this person too many times already. It's hard not to notice her, she's cool and modern. Let's get acquainted with her. It's interesting to know who she is. If she wants to, I tried to talk to her, but she's not very sociable. Well, let's give it a try. Why not? I'm curious to know what kind of person she is. I think you should talk to her. I already did. Now it's your turn. Okay, I'll try. Hey, how are you? Why are you alone? I'm not alone. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. Why do you care? We just came to meet you. You have a cool avatar, Stella and I were wondering who you are, so we decided to come over. I don't want to get acquainted with you. I don't need it, and in general I only play with my boyfriend. Why do you think we want to play with you? We have someone to play with. Me and Lillian decided to find out who you are, that's all, but I see that you are not happy with us. You got that right. You're not welcome. I'm not interested in you and I'm not going to get to know you guys. I'm waiting for James, my boyfriend. Who? James? That's not your boyfriend. That's Eve's boyfriend. Ha ha, he was Ava's, now he's mine. And I'm not giving him to anyone, especially not that stupid Ava. Why is she stupid? How dare you say that about her? She's our friend, so shut your mouth. She's stupid, she lost her boyfriend and it was easy for me to make James my boyfriend, so I'm smart, not like your friend Ava who's stupid and believes all the lies. So you're the one who broke them up? You got Ava's boyfriend? I won't hide it, yes, but it's no big deal. I liked him, and I'm prettier than Ava, we were made for each other, and Ava's no match for him. It's not up to you to decide who's right for who. I just can't understand how Jams could leave Ava. He loved her so much, something's not right. Stella. I can see why she's not in Roblox. She doesn't want to see the couple. I can't believe that Jams could leave Ava. How could he? He was always donating to Ava. She always had a modern, fashionable avatar. Now I'll always be trendy and modern because he donated to me and he forgot about Eve a long time ago, he he. Lucy, you're overconfident. He could dump you like he dumped Eve or go back to her. He won't. I told him so much about her that he doesn't want to see her. You are so mean Lucy, and for your own gain you've ruined someone's love, they loved each other, I know that for a fact. I don't care, as long as I'm happy. I don't care about anyone else. James loves me now, he told me so himself. I won't leave it like that Lucy, the truth will get out, James and Eve are gonna find out about everything, I promise you that. Then we'll see whose will take whose, because you're too confident. 
Just try it, no one will believe you. Jams is in love with me, he'll listen to what I tell him and you'll look like a fool. Think about what I said, don't do that when you're not asked. So you're allowed to pry into other people's private lives, but we're not. No darling, you can't. Stella and I will make sure that James and Ava know the truth, we'll do our best. Yes, yes, Lucy, we'll do our best. Ava's our friend, and what we found out, she has a right to know, and you're not smart enough to tell us. So Stella, shall we go and see Ava? Sure, then we'll go visit Jams. Good luck to you, Lucy. Maybe someday you'll realize that smart people don't do what you did. James found out the truth and broke up with Lucy. He tried to get back with Ava, but Ava wouldn't forgive him and he stayed alone. The end. Chloe, you're not gonna believe this. I accidentally overheard my parents talking last night. Max, you know you can't eavesdrop on your parents. It's not nice. I know but they were talking about you and me being foster kids. What? Maybe you're confused. No, I heard it clearly. How can that be when I've known them all my life? I don't know. Maybe they took us in when we were really little. I think it's too early to draw conclusions. We should talk to our parents and find out everything from them. Two hours later. Hey, kids. Dad and I just got home from work. Oh, hi. We were really looking forward to seeing Yael. Did you miss us? That too. We need to have a serious talk. Is something wrong? I heard you talking about me and Chloe being foster kids yesterday. That can't be true. You might have gotten it wrong. I told you, Max. You were worried for nothing. But I definitely heard it. Why don't we tell them the truth? After all, they're adults. I don't see the point in hiding anything. They're not adults. They're only 16 years old. Why don't you tell us what's going on? Max heard right. You're foster kids. But how? Kids, we took you in when you were only two years old. Where are our real parents? When we took you in, we were told that your parents had given up on you. Why did you take us in? We always wanted a son and a daughter. But unfortunately we can't have children. As soon as we heard about you, we immediately decided to take you in. Wow, it's so weird that we're only finding out about this now. Dad and I thought this information might hurt you guys. Honestly, I don't care where my real parents are, because you raised me, and you are my mom and dad. Good to hear, Max. Well, we've learned the truth. Now, let's have dinner. After an hour. Look, I keep thinking about our real parents. What do you mean? I'm curious to know who they are and where they are now. Why would you do that? I mean, they're strangers to us. And what's more, they gave up on us. I know, but I'm going to try to find them anyway. Suit yourself, but know that I'm not interested. A week later. Hey, what are you doing? Why don't we go for a walk? Let's do it later. I'm making a TikTok video right now. You make them all the time. Don't you get bored? No, I like making them. And anyway, I want to be popular. Uh, popular. Why would you do that? I want to feel like a celebrity. And also make a lot of money okay by the way what about finding your real parents have you found them yet not yet but i've created a lot of ads where i'm trying to find them still i have a little bit of information about them i thought you've forgotten about them actually it would be great to talk to them i'm wondering why they left us they were probably young and didn't care about the kids what if they were in trouble with the law and they knew they were about to go to jail could be anything we'll never know the truth anyway I'd let that topic go if I were you. You're probably right. It's been a long time, and I probably won't find them anymore. But don't feel bad. We have parents who love us very much. I agree. They're the best. After a month. Max, you're not gonna believe this. My video has gotten 1 meter views on TikTok. Wow, that's unexpected. You're a celebrity now. I don't think so yet, but a lot of people write that I'm beautiful and interesting. How many followers do you have? 130,000. But that's just the beginning. I have very grand plans. HMM. Maybe I'll do a TikTok too. If you want, we can do it together. I'll help you figure it out. Come on. I haven't figured out what I want to do yet anyway. Two weeks later. Chloe, you helped me a lot. And now I have 120k followers. I told you we'd be popular. I already have 760,000 subscribers. I'm already selling ads. Hi, are we interrupting you? 
Hi No. My mom and I just happened to stumble across your videos on TikTok. I just want to say that you guys are great. Thank you. I'm surprised you found us. I'm already selling ads, and I think I'm going to move away from you soon. What? You're leaving us? Mom, I'm an adult and I need to become independent. Chloe, a lot of parents react like that when their kids move out. But I'm not going anywhere yet. My friend's parents are kicking him out of the house. They tell him to move out as soon as possible. Uh-huh. Is that the friend that's causing all the trouble? Tell us. We haven't heard of him. He thinks he's a scientist and he's always doing experiments. I think that's a very good thing. The kid's developing. He is, but he's always blowing things up. And a few days ago, he accidentally set his bed on fire. We're against that kind of experimentation. Better make TikTok videos and go to college. That's right. Two months later, Max, you're not gonna believe who texted me. Someone popular. No, our real parents texted me. What do you mean? I thought you hadn't looked for them in a while. I have. They probably found the ads I wrote a long time ago. And what did they said? They said that you and I are their children, and they want to meet. You know how I feel about that. I don't want to meet them. I know, but I'll meet them. I'm interested in what they have to say. Okay, but let's be careful. These are people we don't know. If anything, call me right away. We agreed to meet tonight. We're gonna go out and hang out. We'll be in the park. Okay, while you're with them, I'm gonna shoot some TikTok videos. Three hours later, Chloe, hi, do you recognize us? Are you my parents? Yes, and I can see that you look a lot like us. Where's Max? He's not coming. He's not interested in this meeting. That's weird. After all, we're his parents. He could have at least met us. Right. We forgot to introduce ourselves. I'm Peter. I'm Molly. Chloe, you don't have to say your name. We already know it. Right. Peter and Molly, what do you do now? We work in a grocery store. I want to ask you the big question. Why did you leave me and Max when we were two years old? We were afraid of the responsibility of having two kids at once, and it's very hard. We tried, and then we realized we couldn't do it. After that, we had to leave you. That's weird. Didn't anyone help you with parenting? Unfortunately, no, me and Peter are foster children too. I was abandoned right away in Molly when she was half a year old. We didn't know what real parents were like either. But now we can communicate. We'll help you in any way we can. Why, in all those years, did you never even find out how we were doing? Weren't you interested? We couldn't do that if we wanted to. We didn't know where you were or how to contact you. Chloe, we found your ad online by accident. Without that ad, we wouldn't have met. So you were looking for us? Of course. We're really sorry that we abandoned you. We were young, and we didn't realize what we were doing. I believe you, but that doesn't mean I'll forgive you. We understand. We held grudges against our parents too, for abandoning us. Chloe, if you need any help, feel free to reach out. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. 30 minutes later. So, how was that? What did you find out? It was okay. They said they were sorry for leaving us. They tried to find us, but they couldn't. UHI, and you believed them. Yeah. Why? Why are you being so negative? I hope that was your last encounter with them. I don't want you to socialize. Why? What's wrong with that? We have good parents, so I don't see the point in seeing those people. Yeah, but they said we could count on them for help. UH huh? And how would they help us? Are they millionaires and can give us money? No, they're just regular people. You and I are adults, we don't need that. We can ask our normal parents for advice. I hear your point of view. I'll try not to see them. Stop talking about them. Let's go make a TikTok video. The subscribers are waiting. Two weeks later. Hey, you wanted to meet me. What do you want? You're not happy to see us? We can leave. I knew what I wanted at the first meeting. Chloe, we have a big problem. Molly's having health problems and she may die soon. What do you mean? My kidneys are about to fail and I need surgery right away. Oh, I'm sorry. That's terrible. We are trying to find the money now, but the amount is very large for us. I'm sorry if we've disturbed you. Right now, we are trying to contact everyone we know and ask for help. How much money do you need for the surgery? We need $100,000. We've already found $15,000. If there's anything you can do to help, do it. Chloe, I'm begging you. I want to go on living like everyone else, 
You have to understand me. I don't even know how to help you. You can give any amount of money you can spare so Molly can go on with her life. Chloe, I'm your mom. Even though we've abandoned you, you're our last hope. I have $95,000 that I wanted to buy a house with. I can give it to you so Molly can have the surgery. Where did you get all that money? I'm a celebrity. And anyway, that's not important right now. The important thing is to get the operation done. Are you sure you want to give such a huge amount of money? Yes. We'll go to the bank. I'll withdraw the money and give it to you. We didn't expect this. You're our savior. I can't do anything else. Molly's life depends on me. I can't thank you enough for this. Ask for whatever you want. I don't need anything. You need to do the surgery as soon as possible. An hour later. Chloe, where have you been? We agreed to make a video together. Sorry. I had an emergency. What happened? Why aren't you in the mood? Can you believe Molly might die? Who's Molly? Is that your new friend? No, it's the mom who gave birth to us. Have you been seeing them again? Seeing who? Oh, parents are here. Kids, what's up? I'll explain everything. I saw my biological parents and they asked for help from me. Wait, how could you see them? It's a long story. We found each other. Molly needs surgery and gave her money for it. How much did the surgery cost? $100,000. I gave them $95,000. They'll find the rest of the money. You seriously gave them all your savings? Yeah. What was I supposed to do? I don't want anyone to die. You know me. I still don't get it. Who did you see, and who did you give the money to? I told you, with the parents who gave birth to me and Max. Chloe, when did you see each other? We met today, they told me the story and we went to the bank. And I told you right away, you have to tell the children about everything, and you never listened to me. I didn't know that such a situation could happen. You don't have to blame me. What are you talking about? Chloe, Max, three months ago, we found out that your biological parents died in a car accident. I wanted to tell you right away, but mom forbade me to do it. She didn't want to upset you. Wait, then who did I give the money to? Scammers, who else? But how did they find out about me? They found your article, your TikTok. Realized that you have money and it's possible to cheat you. I can't believe it. I lost all my money. I'd been saving for a long time. You gave them cash. Now they're impossible to find. Don't feel bad. You'll make money. Your career is only going up. And we wanted to surprise you, but we have to tell you now. We're getting you house for your birthday. You won't believe it. I saved up money and wanted to buy you a new house too. See, that's good. We're a friendly family that thinks about each other. I think that's the most important thing. Chloe, you'll get everything you want. You've become a celebrity. Just like you wanted. Chloe was so upset about being scammed by scammers. But for her birthday, she got the house she'd always dreamed of. Hi guys. Hi Calvin. Hi Jacob. Who? Hi Calvin. Good to see you. How are you? Not good. What's wrong? I knew right away you weren't well. I've known you a long time. It's hard to hide things from me. You're right, Jacob. There's nothing to hide from you. And I wasn't going to hide anything. Calvin, just tell me. It'll make you feel better. You'll see. Let's play a game and Calvin will tell. It's because of Ethan. I keep telling myself I'm not gonna talk to him. He's always coming on to me with his friendship. What's wrong? I see you a couple days ago. Everything was fine between you two. You were laughing. Yeah. He's just always getting ahead of me. What are you talking about? Don't think I'm a nerd. But I get the impression that he's doing everything to spite me. Well, if you say so, then you know better. You see, I always tell him what I like, or what I want to buy. What I dream about, and do you think the next day he has it? So he's ahead of you? Yes, for example, I liked a t-shirt in the store. He bought it the same day he put it on, I wanted rollerblades. He bought the roller skates I had in mind. He has rich parents, so they spoil him. The thing is, I don't want to buy it, everything I want. He doesn't need it, but he buys it. I know what you mean. I'm tired of him. I don't want to be friends with him at all. Well, you know bro, maybe you'll misunderstand me, but it's not that important. Let him buy it. If he can buy it, why not? Jacob, that's not the whole reason I'm negative about him. There's something else. So tell us. 
Don't keep it to yourself. I realize he's doing this to spite me, but why? What have I done wrong to him? Are you sure? A week ago, I told him about my dream, I wanted a sport bike. And then they came into the store, and what do you think? He bought it. Of course he did, he rode it over to my place to show it off. I don't know why he does that, he hardly ever rides sport bike. Calvin, he's jealous of you, I don't know why, screw him, he's spoiled. I think that Ethan is making fun of Calvin, because he is a handsome guy, and he is, well, to be honest, not so much. I think so, too, it's just that Calvin can't afford sport bike, and he knows it. Clara you're right, I think so too, to make him jealous. I'm not jealous of him at all, I just resent him for doing it. That's not the point guys, there's more to it than that. Why am I not surprised, I thought there was more to it. A couple days ago, I told him I liked the one girl. Remember she used to come over and play in our game. Her name is Lillian, that's how I met her. At Roblox, and then I invited her to play with us. Yes I remember. Nice girl. Sociable. I don't remember her. I wasn't there. I remember her too. She's a pretty girl. She was good player. What about her Calvin? She's fine, but Ethan's already out with her. And he knows very well that I like her. Wow, that's not what friends do. Now I see your point. Calvin, why didn't you approach her first? You know what he's like. Why did you tell him about her? I didn't mean to. It just happened. She came outside. Saw me and Ethan and I introduced them. When she left, Ethan asked me how I knew her. I said I met her at Roblox and I liked her. That's what I said. I wasn't thinking. I would have punched him in the face. No, Charlotte. Let him be smart. It would be better if Calvin asked Lillian out too. Well, Ethan can do that. Why can't Calvin? Yeah, I'm of the same opinion. Let her choose between Ethan and Calvin. You're right. Why should I give up? Why am I worse than Ethan? Calvin, you're a handsome guy. Believe me, we girls know better. I've always liked you a lot. And I'm not the only one. So you have a chance. Ahaha, uh -huh. look Calvin, you're already getting Clara's affection. And Clara rarely likes anyone, I know that for a fact. So Calvin, we'll see you tomorrow with good news. Okay, guys, thanks for the support. I couldn't have done it without you and I'm glad we had such a great conversation. I'll see you tomorrow, see you back here at the same time, and good luck to you Calvin. The next day. Hey guys, I don't see Calvin, he's not here yet. Hi, he's late. Maybe he won't be here at all. No. He will. He's not like that. He promised. I wonder how he's doing. Can we play? I'm in. I can't wait to play too. Ten minutes later. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Oh finally you're here, and we're all so curious. Come on, tell us what's new. You have no idea what Lillian told me. I knew Ethan was a scumbag. But not that scumbag. Calvin, so you were able to ask Lillian date? Yeah, but it wasn't really a date, it was just an outing. And she said yes, we walked for a long time and talked about a lot of things. What about Ethan? What did she tell him? Or doesn't he know you went out? He already knows. Lillian told me that she didn't want to be with him. She told him she didn't like him and she wouldn't be his GF. But she went with him, they went for walks. Ethan talked her into it. I'm ashamed to tell you what a jerk he is. What are you talking about? What happened? Did he threaten her? No, Ethan tricked her. He told her there was this girl who was in love with him. And he didn't like her. And he didn't know how to get rid of her because she's so unknowing. And if Lillian went out with him, she'd see her and get away from him, it was an excuse. But he doesn't have anyone. Yeah, and the thing is, he wanted me not to get Lillian because I like her, that's how he wanted to screw us over. Calvin, he's just messing with you, once again. He wanted to hurt you. I realized that a long time ago. But the fact that he's capable of deceit, I'm shocked. I didn't realize he was such a dumb. He's the kind of friend you wouldn't wish on an enemy. What about Lillian? What does she think about all this? I told her everything, and she understood what was going on. 
She also said that this whole thing has brought her and me closer together. And she's happy about that. Selvan and Lillian become a couple and they never heard of Ethan. The end.